So our last question is, where can we do permaculture? Well, that's pretty much everywhere. It's not just about land, about gardens and farms. It's also about how do we put up buildings? How do we construct our energy systems? How do we do exchange, sort of money and that kind of thing? And also about our social landscapes. How do we live together? And so permaculture can find its way into many areas of our lives. And for me, that's particularly exciting because it means that there's always something new to learn. It's just utterly fascinating. Now, it's also important to be thinking about when we're doing design at different scales. So it's one thing to have plenty of food in your garden, but if you don't have local food producers, then in the supermarkets run out of food, then you're as stuffed as everybody else. So it's important for us when we're making our choices to be thinking about resilience at all of those levels. Can we support local businesses by voting for what we want to see in the world, by buying things from them? So getting a veg box, even though perhaps you might be growing food for yourself, in order to support those businesses so you have that local resilience. It's also worth thinking about different scales when we're making choices. So if I'm collecting water in tanks like these for the garden, what am I collecting it for? Well, for irrigating plants. Where do plants get their water from? Well, most directly from the sky. It's to fill those gaps in supply. But where are they taking the water from? They're taking it from the soil. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm getting tanks to replenish the soil. So if I can reduce the rate at which the soil dries out by increasing the ability of the, the soil to hold water, but also to reduce evaporation by things like mulching and such, then I actually reduce my need for plastic tanks. And so by thinking at these different levels, we can actually make a better intervention. And of course, as far as the plant's concerned, it can't get water out of the tank. It requires me to be there to turn the tap on and to supply the water. Whereas water that's in the soil is directly accessible and it can get it where it wants. So thinking about these things, it's a little bit also like thinking about reducing our energy demand at home so there's less need for power stations. So permaculture thinking can be applied in so many areas of our lives. And though it sounds corny, when I discovered permaculture, it really did change my life.